Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 39. Today, we're going to be massively revamping, expanding, and moving our oil refinery system. It's going to go... Wow, that is a lot of pollution. It's going to move from right here, where we don't have enough room for it. We're going to move it down here to where we have tons of room, and if we need to expand it, we can add more stuff left. We're going to make it semi-modular in that respect. We also have to overhaul the the oil barrel unbarreling area, this kind of thing here. We need to add some train stacking here so that the increasing number of oil trains are going to be coming in. Don't get stuck here. So it's oil refactoring time. And uh, last episode, what did we do? We added some of these these two little cells here, which are just creating... They're very simple. They're, they're making uh, general stuff, which has been basically the remnants of... The stem cell for quite a while. Let's do this the right way. Remove the inserters first. Then you remove these guys. And we'll leave the chest and use them up as time goes by. So we made a, uh, a cell that makes basically everything here. The the pipes? Are they pipes? They're not barrels. I think I called them barrels a lot last episode. But they're pipes. So, uh, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Uh, I don't want to grab the chest, though. So we no longer need any of this stuff here. The only thing that uh, the stem cell is now making that we need are electronic circuits. These guys right here. So that they can, and I could probably get rid of this train and just have them go down uh, in the copper. The copper and the electronic circuits are going down here. And this is our secondary cell. We still have to get rid of a lot of stuff that is being made here. We got rid of this guy. Oh, dang it. I did it wrong. This is why I get rid of the inserters first. Pick that up. And I did it wrong again. Uh, we will get rid of that in the fullness of time. I guess we can get rid of all these. Uh, there's a few other things we can get rid of. These engine units. Okay, I don't need these being uh, stored there. What else? Uh, this guy, pump jacks. Don't need this anymore. Why am I cre uh, breaking things manually? Okay, still have tons of room in the inventory. All this stuff, we will be moving off to a, a different location uh, to their own cells in the fullness of time. Okay, coming back up here, we can get rid of this because all these guys are Dunskis. We'll leave the chests, like I already said. Said it more than once. Running out of things to say as I pick stuff up. I guess I'll pick up the power and uh, put it back down if I need it. I, and another thing, man, my storage area, my stuff in this area is so chaotic. I used to be pretty organized about it, and uh, just over time, it has gotten really messy. I'm really looking forward to having a stem, uh, not a stem cell, a, um, what am I talking about? Uh, what's my brain? It's not working. Um, depot, the depot cell. Do I have any? No, I don't have any of those on me. Really looking forward to have the depot cell where we're going to use robots. One of the few places I will use logistics robots in any kind of significant number. We're going to use them to uh, organize everything that's coming in from all the different cells, creating random stuff. And I just got like just random stuff and all these different chests that uh, I need to do something with. And we will in the fullness of time. Okay, but uh, we got rid of all that. That's pretty good. Oh, we can get rid of this guy too. This guy is creating uh, the mining drill. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Doing it wrong every time. There, there, there's that guy. Quite sparse. Only thing left being made is that. And can I get rid of this? No, because we're still making electronic circuits. We need the iron for that. But I can pick up this belt. Uh, okay, so I'm going to gather a whole lot of oil refineries and chemical plants from our new cell. If I can find it. Over here? No. Yes, over here. And uh, what else do I need? I need a lot of beacons, so I'm going to grab those from right here in our destroyer cells where they're being made. And then we're going to re start uh, laying out how the oil refinery is getting made. But before I do that, let me show you one other thing. So um, I've added more solar panels. Yeah. So let's look at the power thing. 51,000 solar panels. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to say that this solar panel cell is Finished. That's as big as it needs to be. We still need to add uh, the railways up through here whenever I get around to it and around here. 
and that's going to add more solar panels too. And I'm not even using a fraction of the power I have available to me. So I think we'll be good to go with this amount of solar panels for a good little while. Yeah, I really wish, uh, I, I wonder if I could download a mod that adds just like a simple glider to allow me to fly over the thing, because you can't even get a proper idea of just how many there are. I mean, look at, look at all this. There's a proper sense of scale here because of all of the different details. You can see the rail lines, you can see the trains whipping around. You get a sense of how big this actually is. You can see the ore patches, all the different uh, little details here and there in the train. So just keep that in mind, how big this is. And now let's pan down to the solar panels. Yeah, the solar panels in this view don't even all fit in one screen. We've got to scroll a little bit. 51,000. All right, anyway. All right, so got some supplies here. Got a whole bunch of chemical plants. I picked up about 100 or so oil refineries, a whole bunch of beacons, all that kind of stuff. Uh, lots and lots and lots of pipes. So here's how I think I'm going to handle this. We've got two different ratios we could use. The basic oil processing gives you more heavy and light oil or the advanced oil processing, which gives you more petroleum gas. Almost everything we're using oil for ends up being used for uh, petroleum gas. The, the, the only things that don't really use petroleum gas are the, uh, the lubricant stuff, which is the express belt cell right here, and also the robots, which require the electric engine unit right over here. Both of those take lubricant, and that's made from heavy oil. So we will need some heavy oil for lubricant. Um, and then we also need to be making a whole bunch of, of this stuff, solid fuel. You can make that from any of the three. The best ratio, though, is for light oil. The others take uh, petroleum gas and heavy oil. They take two each, same amount of time. Solid fuel only takes one light oil to make. Um, we need a lot of that solid fuel to make rocket fuel. But I think uh, just for simplicity's sake and for like just massive throughput, expandability, simplicity... We are gonna to try to do everything with petroleum gas, except for the lubricants. We'll need to use some of our heavy oil for lubricant, but besides that, everything's gonna be petroleum. Uh, one of the things we need to do, which we're not gonna do right now, but I'm gonna plan for it, is uh, I need to expand my unbarreling area. It's not backed up right now, because all of my oil areas are tapped out, all my oil wells here. They're all tapped out, but we definitely have made it available, we have all these New ones, which we could expand to. Actually, no, this one's tapped out, but this guy hasn't been used. Three there. There's like six or seven there, seven or eight there, about 10 bazillion there, and a lot more within easy reach. So we're going to have more oil coming in very soon. And so we need to expand this, and I would like to put a, a train stacker right here in this empty space. I might even do like a, a loopy thing here, uh, just so trains don't get stuck here in the actual intersection. I want to keep them in the cell. So we're going to reserve room for the future unbarreler. And we're going to give it this much space. So let's line it up. Just want a marker. Okay, something like this. And let's just put a line. All right, so there's a line. And just to make it pretty, there. Everything over here is going to be the future unbarreler. And I think I'm going to use logistics robots to carry those barrels over the, the rail lines. So we don't have to do something awkward like having these uh, pipe-to-ground barrel... Pipe, no, they're not barrels, pipes. The pipe-to-grounds. That's it. Pipe-to-ground, that's it. That's the whole name. Pipe-to-ground. Uh, I don't want to have these coming through the, uh, the, the railroad line because that's kind of awkward. And I'll also get rid of all of this. We're going to combine all of our oil refining into one area. So if our unbarreling is going to be like right here, then somewhere next to that... We will need this, so we're not going to need this kind of thing. I was trying to space out where I would put the beacons, but if all of our unbarreling will eventually be coming through here, then we'll have storage here, and we can uh, have as much space on the left as we want. Where did those go? Come on, eyeballs. There we go. Okay. Um, so these can be something like this. How much space to give the road... Let's give it three solar panels width. Which is uh, nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, that's the same distance between this and that. 
So what we'll have here is all the beacons. Then we will have, not you, uh, oil refineries. And we will, I want them um, at the very limit. So this is hitting that guy. Yep. Uh, because we will need to uh, get, since we're using this, we will need water and oil coming in. So it's going to have to be like that. Uh, I guess it could be like this, huh? We could use even one less space. Uh, and, and we're going to reuse the, the blueprint we used before, but we're going to modify it to include the beacons. So this is what we had before. In fact, I'm just going to put it, plop it down, down here just to use as a reference. We've got to spread it out to fit in beacons for the, uh, the refineries and for... Oh god, I stu got stuck in the middle, didn't I? Okay, pick, pick that up. And then put it back. Yeah, so we need uh, space for beacons, but it's going to be basically the same thing. Everything's going to have productivity modules, and then the beacons will have speed modules. We're going to have one cracker for heavy to light, and then seven crackers for light to petroleum. All right, I think I have all the logistics sorted out. I believe this will be tileable if I do this and just paste it to the left. Let's just go ahead and do this and... Find out, I guess. Uh, what do we want the symbol to be? I guess we'll make it just that. Yeah, that's good enough. That's what we're doing. We're refining. So if I put that there, are the beacons not quite? Oh, yeah, we want one space gap. Yeah. So that does look like it's going to line up. I think I have all of the the left to right connect ups working for the, to, for the uh, underground pipes. So this is the light oil. Here's the heavy oil. Petroleum skips to the other side of these beacons. And then I've, uh, I've brought over just a massive amount of water from this lake over here. Probably super duper overkill, but uh, well, I don't want to have to go back and add more later if we start to run low. As I expand this guy to the left, just uh, I'd rather overdo it than underdo it. That's my motto. Water down there. Uh, all right, so let's connect it up to the um, oil and at least... Uh, See if the thing is working, then we'll plop down another version of the uh, blueprint. See if that's working. Uh, let's see, I want, let's do this, boop, boop. And then we'll connect these guys, oops, uh, like this. And if I find that the, uh, the oil is running low at any particular point, we will go check on it. This is, there's a huge, I put in a lot of storage. This is gonna take a while to fill up. And I don't have anywhere for the petroleum gas to go, so this is going to stop working fairly soon. In fact, oh, it's not getting, you're not getting heavy oil, huh? Did I not connect that? You are. Maybe he's taking all of it. Okay, he sh this one should be getting enough. And now what happened? Let's check the pipes. Oh, the petroleum gas is already full. Maybe, or maybe we're just not piping enough in here. The all these speed modules are giving us a lot of a uh, a boost. I've got a 470% speed boost. So I did bring a hundred oil refineries over, with the intent of replacing the 25 or so I've got up here and about 10 there. So I've got, I don't know, like let's say just 35 refineries now. And I've only got four here. And I'm also, I don't have a lot of oil coming in. And a lot of it's, yeah, I don't have a lot of oil coming in. So, but let's go ahead and try and uh, lay the blueprint down. We're going to be adding more oil stuff to our system. More oil wells, more oil stops, new trains, all that kind of stuff. Um, what's in the way? Oh, there's something in the, w there's a pipe. Pipe in the way. This guy right here, this pipe. Going up to him is that. Um, okay, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a pump here. Because this will not get uh, copied over to the new blueprint. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then I'm just going to do that. For the sake of the blueprint's tile ability, let's reset that. Grab that again. 
Um, yeah, I think that'll work now. Okay. Let's try. So, now if I plop it down... There we go. All right, do I have an, all that stuff that I... Do we need, do that, do, do we need to, to put all that stuff down? I might have to go get some more pipes out of the car. No, it looks like we had enough. There's a little underground guy there, but that's fine. These guys are all hooked up. It, this guy on the end is getting crude, so I know at least the water and the crude hooked up there. That hooked up there. All these guys have uh, petroleum. They're full of petroleum gas already. All right, so that's hooked up. The light oil seems fine. Okay, sweet. So I can expand this to the left quite a distance, and it's already sped up so much. 400% increase with uh, eight of these guys. That's basically already replaced what I had before. And it's not hard to add more. I just need to, if I notice that there is uh, some kind of bottleneck in the system, add pumps here and there to make sure we're pushing the stuff through. So the next thing to do before we can tear down our old oil processing area is we have to pipe the petroleum gas off to where it's currently being used. And that is over here for the plastic cell, the blue circuit cell, and the battery cell, I think, are the only ones really using it in bulk besides, uh, well, our solid fuel area, which we're going to rebuild. I think that's where we need it. And the reason they're over there is because that's where our old oil processing center is. And I, I considered briefly moving those over here, but it really, I mean, we don't have that much space to put three of those in here. Plus, we need to make a huge... Um, uh, solid fuel cell. So yeah, we don't have room for that. So we got to pipe it. We be piping. So this is how we're going to get the petroleum gas out of the system in a way that allows us to continue to expand to the left in a modular fashion with our blueprint. We're going to use this guy right here up in between these uh, refineries. Every four refineries will have one pipe going out. And if I find out, I some I don't think I would need more than one. At least not for a long time. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then we're going to use these piping blueprints, which should be super, super fast. If I find that um, that's not enough, maybe I'll add an extra underground uh, pipe between them. But I think that's going to have, like, maximum throughput, this design here. Five pumps every four pipes. One, two, three, four-ish. More or less. Should be pretty good. This is going to be a bit awkward, this part. Uh, but it has to be done. Okay, and I think, yeah, that, that was the maximum distance. Okay, so the next one. Mm, yeah, un yeah, unfortunate, but we have to do it. We have to do it. So long, solar panel friends. And accumulator friends. Can't you fit in there? Please don't hit me any trains. Oh, God. <laughs> that was close. Will you stretch? You won't. Okay. Uh, well, we ha whatever. It's fine. It's fine. There. And then we have to come up here, turn to the right, and end up over on the other side of that rail yard as well. So let's... Um, let's come up to about here, and then we're going to turn... And we can get rid of that and give these guys a substation. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, then we need to stretch all the way across the road. Oh, yeah. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Whatever. Oh, it's not even going to reach all the way across. Yeah, it will. It reaches all the way across the road like that. What we want is um, we want the throughput. We don't care how cluttered it looks. This is what we need to get to where we're going. And then I guess I'm going to do this again. And get rid of this. Give them some power. There we go. All right. Uh, pretty good. Then we need to come through here and up to there. Let's just get a little bit of a preview. This is uh, oil coming down. Or no, it's going up. And we will actually reverse this once we're done to drain our old storage we'll reverse these pumps going the other direction but the petroleum gas uh maybe i want some actual storage for it up here just so i know kind of 
Uh, so it's getting evenly distributed to three different things. All right, here we go. This was a nice little place for the uh, petroleum gas storage because I had a bend here in the pipe leading down here to the battery cell. And now we'll just reverse the directions. I'll add pumps later if I, when I need them. I think I, I will need them. But for now, we'll just use the existing pipes, which don't have any, uh, I didn't use any pumps for this part. This leads all the way up here to the source. So we do need the petroleum gas to still be going over here to be making the sulfur, which makes the sulfuric acid, which is used for the blue batteries or the, uh, the blue electro blue circuits, not electronic circuits, the blue circuits, which are whatever they're called processing units, but nobody calls them that they get their blue circuits, right? So I can cut off this, destroy that, destroy that. That was coming from there. All right, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of this pump. And let's reverse the direction, and I will have to connect up the... I've got oil coming from a pump jack here, and two pump jacks there. They might become a cell. In fact, that, I think that's what I'll end up doing. I'll end up uh, barreling them and turning them into a cell where they get picked up by a train. Once this stuff gets cleared out, we'll have room for that kind of thing. So what I want to do now is uh, the final thing is to reverse direction. Let's just, to make it simpler, let's do it this way. Because I have a blueprint so that's faster. We'll do it like that. And we'll see how fast this thing empties out. Uh, let's give them power. Yes, power! Um, I had, let's see, what are you connected to? Were you connected before? Oh, you were connected, all right. And I don't need that. They're, now they're connected, let's hook them up. Empty this guy out. Come on. All right, this is, should all be flowing the opposite direction. Let's just make sure it's an unbroken. I think it's, it should be an... Oh, you know what? Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is going to connect up to our system. Let's just follow the line. So we're going under here, all the way through here. This is the old stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we need to do... Oh, okay. Um, so I had a split. Let's not get hit by a train. This is the unbarreling area. So stuff is coming out of the unbarreling area here. And uh, the pumps are going to prevent it from flowing backwards, right? It's coming back to here. Oh, no, I think it will. No, I think it can. I think it definitely can because I don't think I put any intermediary pumps anywhere around here. So I think it will flow over uh, to our new area just fine, and we can double check that it's empty. It is emptying. Okay, so here's the fun part. Uh, inventory is relatively empty. We get to pick up all of this. Um, let's do it all at once. Watch this. Pow. Can I pick up all that? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> we are clearing out this area holy crap all of this all like everything from our stem cell our secondary cell and our original oil processing area is all gonna be gone soon we will have replaced it with better more end gamey stuff more faster more better all right they're picking that up i should have enough room we're also going to be picking up this and uh if now all of our oil will be all of our oil processing is now going to be here We'll have to add the the solid uh, fuel area. Probably that's what we'll do next, the solid fuel cell, which will also be making, mainly be making the rocket fuel. So maybe we'll do those two cells next. Something like that. And we also need to uh, set up oil collection down here. So maybe that'll be our next big uh, step to take. Get rid of the, the water collection. All right, pretty cool, pretty good. Okay, we're getting there, slowly, step by step. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Leave your comments below, feedback, uh, anything uh, I noobed up or did wrong, whatever, feel free to tell me. And I shall uh, try to fix it later, I guess. See you later, guys. Have a good day, and bye.